channel, Alexandra here. And today I wanted to show you how I travel with Daisy. So here she is. <laughs> She's super excited to go somewhere. That's the way it is every time. Today we are going to visit my parents that live about five and a half hours away. So whenever she's really excited, she likes to crawl around and sit herself up and look out the window. Like, this is every moment. So to keep her safe and secure while I'm driving and even keep her from scratching up my car or getting it dirty or just basically having free range to run around, I am using this really cool thing I got from Amazon and I'll leave the links down below. You can see she's just sitting in it right now. I think she kind of, kind of likes it now. So basically this is a seat for your dog and you can see I have a bed inside. I've got Daisy and I've got her toys and stuff, just like her favorites. And what's really awesome, sit down, sit down, sit sit. So right here, you can unzip it and flip this over the edge of your seat so that it's now a flat, quilted cover for your seat. So if you have a bigger dog, it'll also work for you. All protected from scratching and dirty paws and jumping around and any excitement <laughs> and what's good is she can still look outside so she's not completely bored the whole time by the way there's like a dog right over there we're at the park little doggy okay so that's definitely my first tip is to get them a little seat that they can sit in and be safe and have their little bed and toys and food and stuff like that. And plus, they won't scratch up your car with this one. So I think it's a really great idea. And you can see she's so cozy in there. Oh my, little Daisy. I love you. Hey cutie, you wanna show them what you brought? So what we have here, I have her little Clarice deer because this one's her favorite and her donut toy. She's been obsessed with this one lately. Love your donut toy. I'm looking at another dog. Then of course we had to pack a soft blankie and I have her bed down here. And when we're traveling we always have to have a leash. So we've been using this Tough Hound leash. It's really nice because it's durable. It has a padded um, handle, so I only realized that when I started using it. I was like, why does this feel so nice? And it also has reflective strips so that they can see you at night when you're walking your dog. So it's great for traveling at night or day, and it's just like a good one to have on hand. Honestly, I just love the handle, to be honest. Plus, if your dog is a wiggle worm like Daisy, you can kind of tie this to the edge here so that she doesn't get out or something like that crazy happening. So that's basically everything that I bring with us when we're gonna go traveling, plus some water, of course, because you don't wanna get your pup thirsty. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, first stop in. Miss Daisy, are you ready for a little break? Yes. <laughs> Come on. Side note, it's like really, really cold outside. 
protections at least. <laughs> Back in the car now. It was really windy and So I'm stopping to get some gas and Daisy has just been like this the whole time. She wants to have her paws like over it because she's not used to not sitting right in my lap. And I always used to have her in my lap while I was traveling, but I realized that that is so not safe and that if I had a wreck, she would literally be like crushed. So that's, you know, a big factor in the seat thing because I think that's so important and a lot of people look past it. But if you have your dog in your lap while you're driving, that's really unsafe. And it could also cause you to get into a wreck. Oh, gas is done.